Good evening and welcome to the Board of Education meeting. Today is Thursday, March 19th, 2015. Have the attendance, please. Mrs. Bealey? Mrs. Piazzo? Here. Mrs. Lang? Here. Mrs. Massengill? Here. Mrs. Murphy? Here. Mrs. Perry? Here. Mrs. Shea? Here. Mrs. Murray? Here. And Ms. Hartle? And please join me for the first meeting. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any adjustments to the agenda? Uh, just a simple adjustment. Item numbers 7.1 and 7.2 are just going to be flipped. We only have one um, agenda item on the business meeting. So I see there are some members of the public here. If anyone has any comments they would like to make about um, the Portland Arts and Technology High School path and Westbrook Regional Vocational School budget, now would be the time. Okay, seeing no one jumping up. We are ready for 6.1. I think um, either Ms. Sizemore or um, one of the uh, the delegates to the to the Vogue schools might wish to speak to this. There's only one now, Joe. I will. Um, we have we have in front of you the Westbrook Regional uh, Vocational Center budget for 15 and 16, and also the ones that have. Both of them are drafts because they haven't gone to their school school board for final approval. Our assessments are based on enrollment from April and October of 2014. Um, Scarborough at Westbrook had 20 and 21 students, so our average was 20.5 students there. Um, at PASS, on the next page, our enrollments were 22 and 18, which gave us an average of 20, and that's how our assessment is built. Our assessment at PASS went down 24,000, and our assessment at um, Westbrook, Westbrook um, is up $1,400. You want to move approval of both budgets at the same a solution to the problem of students wanting to go to pass out of Westbrook, but because of the schedule, uh, it's, it's not working for them? Um, well, I think right now some of the classes are filled, but some aren't. Um, I think we have two sessions. Kids can go in the morning or in the afternoon. Um, that's a, probably a whole scheduling piece from the high school, and I know the high school is looking at their schedule and what they can do. So at this point, I say that the schedule is um, being looked at for, next, for the following year. It's a question I ask annually. So yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's, it's probably the case that there are always some kids that wish that the high school schedule were different or that the path schedule were different. Um, even when we modify, we, when we move to a modified schedule at the high school, which will not be happening next year, but perhaps can happen the year after that, I don't know that it's going to solve all the problems. There's, um, there's just, um, there's, there's likely going to be someone who wishes that it were different so that they could do something differently. But we're, we'll try to minimize that as much as possible. Thank you. So we're not promising any 100% solutions on that. 
I just think that it's not sad, but <coughs> when you have a thousand students at a high school and only 40 of them maximum are availing themselves of, of this wonderful technical alternative education that, uh, that we can't accommodate that. Because I think there must be more students who would do that if it was more readily available in transportation. It's not the transportation, it's the schedule. It's the schedule at the high school. Thank you.